All right, YouTube watchers, here we have another black 1980 Hunter Original, Robbins and Meyer error. This one actually belongs to Chris. The blades and blade screws are mine. And I'm actually testing this horse because there's a huge dent in the housing right there. I still can't see it. What? There you go, you kind of see it there. It's a nice golf ball sized dent right there on the side of the housing. Um, the other reason I'm testing is he allowed, he allowed me to switch the oil cups on this one with the other one. Uh, this is the oil cup off the ornate one that has that paint line around it. <laughs> so, I really appreciate him. Uh, Chris is a local guy down here. He's kind of started collecting stuff also with me. Tag. Uh, when I got it, it did have a bad pull chain, so I put a new pull chain in it. Runs pretty good now. Go ahead and go low, so high it low. And like I said, I got the brother of this fan from Chris already, the one that's in better condition. Pretty good low speed as always. Let's go ahead and go on high. Very good amount of air. This is a very quiet one actually, no hum. Good for air movement though. That's going to spin down. I did also put a new o-ring in this one, um, just because I put a new o-ring in that oil cup already so he got that for free out of it. But yes, the very good fan. Unusual that it has a dent. Uh, usually cast iron tends to crack, not you know bend or anything like that unless it's extreme heat. Um, so it's quite an oddity. He's probably going to keep this here for a junk fan somewhere, or he's going to put this on his back porch. It's because the black looks nice and it needs more air movement. More than a 1.1 gives, so. Spin down is good, the bearing's in good condition. I'm going to try and test three more fans today. It depends on how long I have daylight. It's getting dark here pretty soon. There you go. Thanks for watching.